Good morning. It is October 14th, 2021, and this is an update on the garden. We had a lot of trials this year, and the garden didn't do good with the bugs at the early summer, so I pretty much replanted, I think it was at the beginning of August, and so this is what's grown since then. Now, my blackberry bushes took a hit with me pruning them too early. And so these are some shoots that grew out of place that I'm gonna let go for this year. And then these are the remaining shoots that are gonna overwinter. So this whole fence line right here is usually covered with blackberry. You can see the big gaps um, currently that are there. Um, and then I've pulled out some of the old um, dead ones. These were actually supposed to remain this year, but they died off. So hopefully next year will be a recovery year. And so I don't anticipate having a lot of berries. Apple tree is still green. Um, some more of the blackberries that are growing out um, of location. And then one little tiny potato um, straggler from the potatoes that were in there two years ago. So this whole dirt area here was potatoes and there's still um, some survivings coming out. Got some squash here and then zucchinis. This is the only tomato plant that survived from the beginning of the year and it is a cherry tomato. I just picked off a couple this morning and there's a lot of green um, tomatoes on it right now. You can see over there close as I can zoom in from where I'm at. And then of course I have a lot of sunflowers from the one or two sunflowers that were in the garden earlier, the seeds that fell from them. And then I'm trying to see if I can overwinter some broccoli. So that's down here in the buried in between. So they're just starting to come up. This is an eggplant that was left over from the first planting in March. It's flowering, but it hasn't yet produced anything and it's fallen over with the storm yesterday. So next year I need to stake them so that they have better support. Um, this trestle here has green beans growing around it and through it. I don't know if you can see some in the background there. And down the leaves there. recently been picked so there's not too many green beans in the and somebody in my neighborhood is doing some woodwork or running a saw so the dog, dogs are responding to that and again we have leftover peanut plants that have sprouted on their own along with the weeds so I don't know if we'll get any peanuts from that but I'm just leaving them be they're there you guys one of the sunflowers has bloomed That's about a four foot sunflower. And the others are just at the stage of wanting to come open. If I back up, put the dead sunflower off the wall there. Back up, you can see the height of that. And then amongst all that, we have some pumpkin plants that are vining out in this direction. I haven't found any pumpkins on them that have developed yet. So with it being this late in the year, I don't know if I actually will. And this one has climbed up into this blackberry bush and is just trailing along through it. Of course, this is the viney blackberry bush and I haven't pruned it at all, so it has gone everywhere. And I'm thinking about removing it for next year so that it's not here causing all of this. Like it's like this is a, even its shoot going out and up there. And another one going that way. And then I've just got a flowering plant that's climbing the trellis right there. My other plants didn't climb the trellis at all this year, which disappoints me. That brick is holding it. Um, 
providing some weight so it doesn't rock. Um, so let's do better. My compost pile is kind of in the middle of all that and there is a beet that was thrown into it and it decided to keep growing. So I have one beet that is like become the figurehead of the compost pile here. Right there. Um, and the asparagus underneath the apple tree is growing like crazy. I haven't trimmed it down at all um, since maybe June, so it's pretty wild in there. It'll all die off once the temperature really starts dropping. And we're at the back side of the tomato plant, so there's a couple tomatoes there. And then behind me, come around here, we've got the grapevine. I've already picked the grapes for this year. And it has not started to feel the cold yet. Now you can see there's some, some old pruning grapes still on it there. And this will be pruned after it loses all its leaves 